Welcome, everyone. Welcome, DMV, to a place where you can get your life. Orchids, honey, for dummies. And this is Fail Pal Brandy with Skinny Boy Farms. Hi, you guys. What's up? And we are here at Lowe's 2021 at the Garden Center. And I am going to be the first one to bless him with his Phalaenopsis orchid. Show him how to shop for Phalaenopsis orchids. And we're going to have a good time. Mask on, everyone. So welcome back, everyone. We are inside of Lowe's. This is my first time here at the DMV. So welcome, welcome everyone from the DMV. I am so excited to be here at your Lowe's. I see beautiful, beautiful Phalaenopsis orchids, and I just want to share that experience with Skinny Boy Randy. Come on, Randy. This orchids that we see right here is what we call a mouse bow. Okay, a mouse bow is going to retain water for a long period of time. Also, the Phalaenopsis orchid can grow in here anywhere between six to 12 months. So this is perfect to hang up. If you're taking your Christmas tree down, you got this big window, go ahead and get you one of these beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid to hang in the window. What do you think oh, about wow. it, Randy? These are absolutely beautiful, you guys. I can't express what do on you think camera. About you it? can see, I think these are absolutely amazing, stunning. I'm just floored. And you have so many varieties. Look, you guys, I can't even express it to you on camera how beautiful and just amazing this orchid is. And this is by Better Grow. And Better Grow does make good orchids. We're going to go through them so he can pick the healthiest of orchids and the most beautiful. So just take a look at okay. this orchid right here. You know, this is your classic white Phalaenopsis orchid. Okay. Um, and this in a bigger, it's in a bigger uh, coconut. Pal, let me ask you a question. How do we know what's in healthy orchid? What are we looking for when we go to shop for an orchid? What should I be looking for at the beginning grower? Well, Skinny Boy Randy, the first thing I look for in my Phalaenopsis orchid is the leaves. That is going to be okay. the first thing that gets my attention. But as a new beginner, yeah. as someone that is experiencing a Phalaenopsis orchid for the very first time. You want to get what is the most beautiful. Okay. Okay. But we're going to talk about the leaves in a moment, but I'm a new beginner as well. And I'm so excited because you this one in particular, this one is going home with mama. Okay. This is what we call a big lip Phalaenopsis. Look okay. at the lips. Yeah, Look at this bottom petal, which is what we call the lip. Okay. Can the you guys see that? Can you guys you want to show them on camera what the lip is? Yes, honey. Get into it. Get okay, into see, it. This does not have a lip. I see yes, it does. It does? This is why we call it a moth oh, orchid. I see the lip. Is that this here? Yes, right there. Okay. It, and you see how that one is curled up and right. this one is bigger? That's okay. why we call it a big lip. Phalaenopsis, and they're all a, set, a variety of hybrid orchids, which means this is what we make as men, like you were talking about, fertilizing them, or, you know, um, I'm sorry, getting the seeds out and making your own orchids. Okay. You would do the same with these. So the classic white Phalaenopsis orchid starts it off for everyone. Okay. Because if I wanted a big little white Phalaenopsis, I would breed both of these orchids together. Oh, you can actually breed orchids? Yes. Wow. Each one teach one. Yes. Each one teach one. So this one is definitely going on with me. <laughs> but let me show you, let me show you the leaves. So I get to pick one that I want? Yes. yes. Wow, you guys, amazing. Yes. 
Okay, mom, I got to have some over here. But look, you want to make sure that you have um, the most amount of leaves. Oh, the man. Most amount oh, of leaves. man. This is why you want to look at the leaves. So I can't get this for you, baby, because this is what we call oh, wow. a fungal infection. Come on, you guys. Can you a see that? A fungal infection. A fungal Could infection will mess you up. This take this home to your garden. Your whole garden gonna be gone. Okay. Your okay. whole garden gonna be gone. Okay. So um, you want to make sure you check the leaves. And the phalaenopsis orchid, even though the blooms are beautiful, what it's actually trying to do is say, okay, I might not make it. So let me go ahead and um, reproduce okay. myself. So I can live on. Okay. Because this fungal infection, if not treated, okay, if not treated, it will spread throughout this whole plant. Now, the reason it has this fungal infection, because that's another thing about these moss balls. If you overwater them, that water will sit there. This is not the best of ventilated places. So it just sat there and it was the orchid was not able to absorb it. And that's how a fungal infection got into it. Okay, that is amazing, you guys. This is so educated. If you're not checked out Bow Wow Brown, check out Orchids for them. Each one, teach one. Okay, so I'm looking for beautiful leaves. Yes, and uh, green. And green. Okay. And you guys, there's more. I'm sorry, you guys, but this right here is black rot. This is a black fungal infection. And I'm not trying to put nobody on blast, so we're not going to say okay. what lows this is. But this is what you don't want to bring into your home. Okay? So, you guys, as a new That's beginner, a I'm looking for my leaves. I picked it up. I'm looking for my leaves all the way around. I'm not looking for any fungal infection. I want to make job. sure it's not over water. And I think these look pretty healthy. What do another you think? thing it absolutely does. Another thing that you can look, you see these ridges okay. in the leaves? Look, you that guys, is these ridges. what we call a strong cell wall. So like humans have strong muscles, this is a phalaenopsis with strong cell walls, which is going to reduce the um, chance of it getting an infection because it's so strong of a plant. Okay. Now you're not able to see the roots, but you're able to see there is at the least guy, some. He's showing me love. There's some roots in here. And over time, if you put it in a bright window, roots are going to continue to grow. So this is a beautiful phalaenopsis orchid well, that, that is um, very strong will last for you. So let's take a look at some of the other orchids, Randy, because right. they have some good ones. I picked a good one, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, y'all got the album. Yeah. But skinny boy, Brandy, this is a miniature phalaenopsis orchid. And a lot of people that live in small places or apartments like me would like to get a miniature phalaenopsis orchid and place on the windowsill. And it is sometimes very fragrant. It has different smells, but this one in particular has a very sweet smelling in the early morning when the sun is coming up. And these are only $7.99, so very affordable, especially if you are a beginner and it does not last for you. This is something that you can spare $8. So you wanna take a look at the root. You pull it out and you're looking for either silver or green roots. Silver roots means that the orchid just needs water. Such as up here, it's a little bit more silver. Down here is dark green. Okay, that means that these are healthy roots. These up here are not so healthy. You see how it's dry up? Yes. So this is a healthy Phalaenopsis orchid. So this is only, you know, less than $20. And you want to pick an orchid that has buds on it. Uh, you want to choose a Phalaenopsis orchid that has a few more blooms.
to give you such as these. So these are very beautiful and they come in very beautiful decorative pots. So you go ahead and take a look and whatever you like, we will get it for you. So everyone else just stay tuned. So right now, Fab Pal, Randy has a dilemma. He's trying to reach some of the Phalaenopsis orchids that is all the way in the back. He wants to be able to check the roots of the Phalaenopsis <laughs> orchids. And so he don't want to destroy the plant. So let me just tell you what the gardeners say here at Lowe's and in some of your big box grocery stores. They already know that you're going to break the blooms <laughs> and the flower spikes, so it's okay. You don't want to be rough, okay? But at the same time, you want to make sure that you choose the best Phalaenopsis for you. So what I do, what Fel Pound the Real likes to do, is just get this stuff out your way. Okay. Make this your home for now because this is a very special process and it is important because ultimately the the beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid you choose is life and death because as we saw previously, some will give you beautiful blooms, but in actuality, the plant is sick and it's, it doesn't have long to live. So we want to make sure we get the best for our money. So yes. don't be afraid. Well, thank you. I feel more comfortable already, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna sit this there for now. That is beautiful, you guys, but I think I'm already in love with the first one that he already yes. inspected the roots. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, uh, and it has new babies on it. Can you guys see us? You guys, we are practicing our social distancing and we are just trying to pick the best orchid possible. And I'm gonna keep you up to date on my process with this orchid via Orchids for Dummies, Foul yes. Foul Foul, you guys. Yes. And I'm checking under my leaves, as you told me before. Yeah, make sure you check for bugs. We're not looking for any fungus. We don't want any fungus or bugs or mold. No, no, So no, this no. is my new Phalaenopsis, you guys. I can't spell it, but I can say it. <laughs> Phalaenopsis orchid. I learned that word from Orchids for Dummies. Go over there, check his channel out. Orchids for Dummies, you guys. This okay. is beautiful. Are you gonna be transporting one back to Alabama? Yeah, yeah. They die into the stem of the plant. And that is how you get the beautiful, vibrant colors. I see that up. on your channel. I've actually saw And this. you can do this at home. You can do this yourself. You get to, if you tired of your white blooms, all you gotta do is when this right here, which is a flower spike, you see that puncture boom right okay. there? Okay. That's actually where they injected the dye. Oh, you got to Right see here that? as well. It's a puncture boom. And it's still a healthy plant. It's just, you know, trying to make something, you know, a little bit more beautiful, like a woman putting on makeup. It's still a beautiful woman. She just want to color herself up. Let them so with that. with this word. Let them find with that. And this is called a waterfowl illusion. Oh, wow. And That's I love, you name. can do that at home too. It's okay. beautiful, oh, it's beautiful. And they have so many different setups. I mean, I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, stimulus check. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm finna get me some. Watch out for the Orchid Hall video. But Brandy, what do you see? I have my orchid here. All of this is beautiful. It's I don't, I, I, I don't want to get here. anything that I can't take care of. <coughs> and uh, I have a hanging plant for you guys that so I can hang this. Now, where would I put this in the light? Would I put it in direct sunlight, indirect sunlight? Would I put it right in my window? How you do I grow your east or your west window seal? That early morning sun mm -hmm. that comes up normally in our kitchen window. Okay. Above the sink is even better because it has humidity. But anywhere you get that morning sun. Okay. That soft but bright, supple sun. Okay. That's what it likes. It likes what you like. The temperatures that you like indoors is the temperatures they like. The amount of sun 
without you having to put on protection, okay. which is sunscreen, is going to be the so same not sun. Not too much like. sun. No, 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 okay. Because no. it will burn the leaves. Okay. Okay. So Great. if you have a little shade cloth, that's even better. Okay. That's even better. Now, taking care of this at home, how often would I water? In this, you water it different ways, but this is what we call moss. So a little dab of this, a little dab of doobie. You get four ounces of water, okay. which is equivalent to two ice cubes. Okay. Don't put the ice cubes on there. If you are unsure of the amount, get two ice cubes, let it melt, and that amount of water, which is this amount, you're going to put in there. You're going to make sure you don't see any water that is left on the leaves and you good to go. And that is going to last you a week. Now what do you think of the spraying technique? Spraying water with the, the sprayer. Is that a good way to water or do you suggest pouring the, the amount? Yes, absolutely. Go ahead and pour the water in okay. there because if you spray it, you're going to and if it's not well ventilated, okay. it's going to give you that rot that I showed you Got guys you. earlier. So that moisture is just like my vegetables, you guys. If you put water on the leaves of like the tomatoes, it will accumulate algae and different pests. So you guys, I have learned so much, and I know he wants to do some shopping, and I'll let him finish the video. It's Foul Pal Doral, Zone, What's your zone? DMV. I'm We're just happy to be in the DMV, <laughs> but I'm representing Alabama. I thank you guys for having me, each one teach one. Like I said, my channel is Orchids for Dummies, the people's channel. And this is Fail Pal Randy. So I'm going to leave a video link to his channel. He is also ready. featured on YouTube's um, With Me campaign ad. He's the first one that you see with this being a new year and a new beginning, what you want to do is get you something to grow. Exactly. Get you something green inside your home. Yes, you and it's gonna give you such good mental vibes. It's gonna create a positive atmosphere in your home. You put these, take these to work. And it's gonna be beautiful. <clears throat> and it's gonna create such a welcome and loving environment. And it adds so much beauty to any home that you pour. So thank you, Skinny Boy Randy. Thank you so Until much. Until next today. time. So welcome back, everybody. Real quickly, Lowe's. Yes, yes. It is um, actually orchids on the clearance rack, and sometimes you can find beautiful phalaenopsis orchids for a very low price, like a dollar sometimes. And even if you don't want the phalaenopsis orchid, you can collect these pots because you will see them again. And that's a cheap way to get some pots, okay? I love these. My whole house is full of pots I got from the store. Not, the, not any pots that I purchased, but came from the orchid, you know, came with the orchid. So remember to check the clearance rack for discounted orchids as well as beautiful discounted pots. So I have some good advice for Skinny Boy Randy. We are checking out and this is one of the scariest times because if you uh, expose your phalaenopsis orchids to the elements, it can get this right here, which is bud blast. Those buds will not bloom for you. So he is going to get a big plastic bag to cover this baby up on the way home. Stay tuned. Now remember, live, love, laugh, you guys, grow, stop. And eat it if you can. Bow, 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 bow.